Hello everyone, welcome to my book tag. Do I have that book? Book tag. First question is, do you have a book with decked edges? Yes, I do. I think the majority of my books are decked edges because I love the look of decked edges. I just think they're really gorgeous. But I'm going to shout out The Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. This book is what you call perfection inside and out. Number two, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? I could only find the Celtic Quest <laughs> because there's one, two, three. I did it. Yes. This is not a fiction book. This is just about Celtic mythology and legends with a little bit of art and history combined in this novel. So I do actually recommend it. Number three, do you have a book based on another fictional story? I do. It's right there. Winter, Crass, Scarlet, Cinder. That's on Cinderella. Number four, do you have a book with ten letters in the title? Does it have to be exactly 10? Because I don't want to dump that out. That's really time consuming. I'm sure I have a nonfiction book that has 10 words in the title for sure. Uh, somewhere around here. Do you have a book that starts and ends with the same letter? I do. It's actually recent. So if I didn't buy and read this book, then I would have had to skip number five, this question. But as I reach over here, the Cruel Prince by Holly Black. The and Prince, amazing. Or it doesn't. Actually, I just realized this. I was so excited because I was, <laughs> I was looking through my whole section. This isn't even half of it. And I said, oh, the and Prince. I was thinking about the last letter. Okay. I'm still gonna count it <laughs> because I put an in effort into this question. <laughs> Number six, do you have any mass market paperbacks? I do. It's actually all, well, not all of it, True Blood, which are at the very bottom of my shelf because there's so many. I think I have like 16 of the Tsukuyu Stackhouse series that I just put them at the very bottom because it took up like a whole shelf and then a little more over here and I was like, just put it at the bottom. I feel bad because I love the Sookie Stackhouse series, but yeah. So mass paperback, True Blood on the very bottom shelf. <laughs> Number seven, do you have a book by an author using a pen name? No, I don't. Number eight, do you have a book with the character's name in it? Also quick and to the point, no, I don't. <laughs> Number nine, do you have a book with two maps in it? I do. It would be fantasy Aragon and I think the first or somewhere in the series of Throne of Glass. I think, let me see. I'm totally winging it because I thought about it and uh, does two pages count? <laughs> If yes, I do Empire of Storms. Number 10, do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Yes, I do. Outlander, which is also on the bottom because there are so many books because I have all of them and they're like really thick. The last few books in that series is a, like a thousand pages. So. I don't have room <laughs> for those. Number 11, do you have a book that's written by someone who was originally famous for something else? I'm not in a, like 100% sure about what that means. Like, do that? does that question mean like, maybe they were a painter before or they were an actor? If so, no, I don't. Number 12, do you have a book with a clock on the cover? I did. And that was the Clockwork Princess. Like, I forget that trilogy. It's by um, Cassandra Clare, but I got rid of it because I just wasn't interested in that world anymore. So, <laughs> if I kept it, 
uh, I could have showed you it, but I don't, so here we are. Number 13, do you own a poetry book? And I do, I own two. And I gave these both five stars, so you should definitely check those out. Number 14, do you have a book with an award sticker on it? And I do, right there. The Song of Achilles, I also recommend this book. I gave it four out of five stars. Number 15, do you have a book written by someone with the same initials as you? I don't. My initials are NP, and I've never really met anyone else that has those initials. Number 16, do you have a book of short stories? I have a few. Two of them are little True Blood short stories. Uh, that are on the bottom shelf. And I also have the Grimm t Fairy Tales. Uh, it's a really old copy, so I don't keep it out very much. I think it's from the 60s, 50s, something like that. And it's uh, tucked away in a sealed box because it kind of smells a little bit. And the pages are yellow, so I don't actually have that out. But I own it, so... Props to me. <laughs> Number 17, do you have a book between 500 and 510 pages? The majority of my books are around 500 pages. I just really like long books. Number 18, do you have a book that was turned into a movie? As I mentioned it in the map section of this questionnaire for book tag, Aragon, but we don't speak. We don't speak of that movie. That movie never existed. Just the books. Nothing. Number 19. Do you have a graphic novel? Favorite reads in my American literature class in college. Persopolis. This is a 5 out of 5. I definitely recommend it. I'm not usually into graphic novels, but this is so amazing and the pictures just only add to the story. Number 20, do you have a book written by two or more people? I do. America's First Daughter by Stephanie Dre and Laura Kamoe. They also wrote My Dear Hamilton together. I gave this book and My Dear Hamilton five out of five stars. They are amazing, amazing writers and I can't recommend them enough. Thank you so much for watching my Do I Own That Book book tag. If you like what you just saw, please comment with your thoughts, like, subscribe, and share with your bookish friends. And if you want to get to know me in any of my social media and my writing, all of that is in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great reading day. Bye!